Okay, all you iPad fans out there, I just uploaded my first DaVinci Resolve for the iPad video, and I just found some good news from Michael Tobin, and I can't remember the other YouTuber's name. He'll be listed in the bottom. You can now unlock, it's, they're calling it a hack. It's not really a hack, but you can unlock all the pages on DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. I am just stoked about that, and... Uh, because I was having problems making my first video. I think we're gonna be able to do it really good now. So I'm gonna drop down here on the iPad and show you how to do it. Y'all stay with me. Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Hope everybody's doing well today and got some really good news for DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So. I've got my 2020 iPad Pro here. This is a 12.9, 256 gig. Had it um, almost three years now. Did my first video, It'll be a link right here where I actually show you how to install it and um, show you a few things around DaVinci Resolve because it is my video editor of choice. So let me uh, get it all hooked back up here. Let's go ahead and uh, drop down here and I'll show you how to get this going. Okay, here we are. DaVinci Resolve, we're going to open it up. And like I said, my video for uh, showing you how to install it and where it's at on the App Store is right up there. So what we're going to do, so by default, you only have the cut and color page, which I've got the color page grayed out. The first thing I want to show you, you can use this with the DaVinci Resolve project server. So if you click the little home button down here, as you can see, I'm on a network drive here and I'm on my videos database. So I have a video up here. I'll put a link it up here, how to create a DaVinci Resolve project server. And I've got it on a Ubuntu server VM running and I, I actually have projects going on it now. It's working great. So on the iPad, here we are. So I'm gonna start a new project and I'm gonna say super test. I ought to named it Super Dino Whopper for my buddy Randy, but I didn't. So when you first start out a project, you have the cut and color page. So here's the cut. Here's the color, and that's all you have. Now, if you look at the um, normal version, the desktop version, let me go ahead and pull that up, and I'll show you what that looks like. As you can see, here's my super test, that, and it's locked because I have it open up on the, the iPad. And I, I'm on the same network drive. So let me just open up one of these. I know my drive's not plugged in. So if you look down here at the bottom, you have the media page, cut page, edit page, fusion, color, fair light, and deliver. Okay, you have all those on the desktop. All right, so here we are on the iPad. So we're going to go Option Command K. This is the keyboard customization. On the right hand side, we're going to grab this little scroller and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. And here you'll see show page. We're going to expand that. And as you can already see, I have color, cut, deliver, edit, fair light, fusion, and media. And I already have them assigned. I have them assigned shift, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, and I just went through and just assigned them. I don't think there's eight of them, there's seven of them. So I've got one through seven assigned. And that's all you have to do. So now when you hit close, all you have to do is hit your shortcut. So it'd be shift one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And now I have every page on there now. 
I have Fusion, I have everything. So now if I go back to my project that I uploaded just a few minutes ago, and I'm opening it up from my network drive, here I am on the edit page. Now I did this video on the cut page and it was, it was kind of painful. It was, cause I'm not used to doing that. But yeah, here's a Fusion composition. You can right click. You can open in Fusion page. That is so cool right there. I mean, that is just awesome. So there's your media page. Uh, your Fairlight audio. You can go in and set up all your audio channels and make them like you want them. And on the deliver page, now in the video that I uploaded, when I first installed, it said because this was not an M1 or M2 device, I was limited to HD. Now you're limited to HD on the timeline, I think, but when I went to the edit page, and uh, where's my timeline settings at? When I went to my media page, here's my timeline. If I go to my timeline settings, now it's set for 1080. But if I go to the deliver page, let me cancel that. I can go right here. 3840 by 2160 Ultra HD. And I did that just a minute ago and it rendered the video out and it was quick. I mean, that was so cool. And even though the timeline is in 1080, you can upsize these videos without loss you know it, it really looks good so if you enjoy using your ipad this has just made it crazy better crazy better um, now i suppose and what i've heard from others the reason they uh, didn't include this initially they're trying to optimize this to make it more touch friendly but um, I'm gonna tell you with a with a Logitech MX Master Three and a keyboard, and I got an Apple Pencil coming. Uh, be here sometime next week. This is really going to be nice because I love sitting by you know in the quiet and everything, and have the iPad and just sit and do things. This is going to be good. Now I do enjoy having the big screen and the nice keyboard, and mouse, and all that stuff. But when I just want to just focus on that one thing, this is it. So. Anyway, that's enough rambling on. I hope you get something out of this. If you got a question, leave me a question. Leave me a comment. Uh, if it's working out good for you or bad, let me know. Uh, so far, working good for me. And I am and I am editing off an external SSD, too. So that's... So I've got a network drive, external SSD, keyboard and mouse. This thing is really, it's coming along. So I'm really happy with it. If y'all like this video, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell to be notified. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Tomorrow is Christmas 2022. Hope everybody has a Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, just have a good day. And... Um, Appreciate all of you watching, appreciate all the comments, appreciate everything, and I hope you guys have had a good year, and I hope next year is just as good or better. So, so anyway, like I always say, until the next video, thanks for watching.